Hey there, YouTube land. And if you've been watching my channel for a while now, you probably saw me, well, collecting the Scream Factories stuff. I got the original Scream Factories when they first came out. I actually bought Hall Halloween 2 and Halloween 3 on the release date, way back when Scream Factory started. Now, uh, today I'm opening up, well, my 50th single Scream Factory, but all together from the box that's included, my 62nd uh, Scream Factory Blu-ray. So, uh, without further ado, <clears throat> went to HMV. And uh, they, had, they had two that I need, <clears throat> that I really want need. And uh, one was this one right here, Escape from New York. Uh, it's uh, one that I need. I love this film. I love John Carpenter's films. And I got all the rest of the John Carpenter films in the uh, Scream Factory collection. So I want to continue to get all these. The other one that was there was uh, Invaders from Mars, which I do have to grab because it does have like a 37, 40 minute documentary that I'm, I'm really big into. I was kind of hoping that they would have done a retrospective documentary with the, this one as well. But they kind of stuck with the older documentary and put in some new like interviews in there. They did put in a new commentary, which I'm glad about. And it is like a double Blu-ray set, so let's check it out. <clears throat> so I got it for $19.99, which is the sale price. I could not pass that up. Uh, no matter what else would have been there at that point, uh, getting Escape from New York with the slipcover for $19.99 was just too much to, too much to, well, it's just too good of a deal to pass up. And it is such a fantastic film. Uh, it's a classic. And the same cannot be said for Escape from L.A., but uh, so Escape to L.A. I can't remember again. So we have so slipcover. We'll look the other case in a minute. A uh, disc one um, as a, a new 2K scan of the inner positive struck from the original negative. We got a new auto commentary with actress Adrian Barbeau and uh, director of photography Dean Cundy. Of course, there's the original commentaries are on the other ones. The auto commentary with Director John Carpenter and actor Kurt Russell. There's another audio commentary with Deborah Hill and production designer Joe Alves. On disc two, we have the bonus features. It's another Blu-ray. It's a new look at special visual effects, including interviews with Dennis Skotak, Robert Sk Skotak, and more. New interview with still photographer Kim Gottlieb Walker, author on the set with John Carpenter. Deleted scenes, the original, uh, original bank opening sequence that was, and of course the original Return to Escape from New York featurette. Uh, theatrical trailers, photo galleries, and then more. So we'll open it up here. And uh, <clears throat> I really love the, uh, the look of the discs. They're both Blu-rays. So this is not a Blu-ray DVD combo thing. This is actually two Blu-rays, and that's really cool to see it like that. I am going to put the original uh, cover on the inside because, uh, well, put it out because uh, you have the uh, slip cover to show you the uh, new artwork. And I do love the original cover for Escape from New York. That was a brilliant, brilliant poster. And I love the way with the slipcases, you're actually able to like uh, to see both of them. Like you can look at the slipcase and see the new art, and just slip that off and see the original art. The only time that isn't good is if the original, if the new art is like really, really awful, and you're like, uh. <clears throat> but this is the of course original artwork for Escape from New York. Done in the far, far future of 1997. Like, kid you not. This is how long this has been, actually. New York City is a walled maximum security prison. Breaking out is impossible. Breaking in is insane. So I guess... Apparently this is the best Escape from New York has ever looked. It's been really hard uh, for some reason to get Escape from New York ever looking really good. But uh, it's good to see it a great addition. So the commentary was is a big add-on feature. features, a new commentary, a, a new 2K scan of the film. Having that, this film in my collection it's on Blu-ray is a huge, huge plus for me. I'm a big Carpenter fan, and uh, there's not much that he does that I don't like. <coughs> Ghost of Mars. Uh, but uh, normally, I like all his films, and there's always that like little one that kind of like, Ghost of Mars, it gets in the uh, it gets in the way and kind of like almost ruins the Ghost of Mars legacy that he has. But uh, Escape from New York is a personal favorite of mine, so uh, it'll be great to uh, to watch Snake Plissken again. Apparently, they are doing a sequel to uh, Big Trouble in China, so we'll see how that goes. So right now, I am glad to be off work for the weekend. Uh, got to go home a little bit early today, uh, which is good because. Uh, Work. It's been it's been a long week. Even though it's only like a three day work week, really. 
for me this week. It was a long day, and like my friends were were off, so it was kind of like just sitting around, actually doing work, which, which, as you all know, kind of sucks a bit. But uh, got off, had some KFC, got the completely unhealthy chicken bowl because I just love that. I mean, you got like chicken and mashed potatoes and corn and gravy. And like who, who can go wrong? That's almost a, it's almost so unhealthy that it's actually healthy. It's got vegetables in there. You've got your meats. You got your gravies because I'm sure that's a food group somewhere along the way. So 60 second. I've got a from Whisper to a Scream on, coming on the way now. I'm really looking forward to that one. That one has some amazing features on. I love the films, but film by Jeff Burr, who also of course directed. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, uh, one of my, Leatherface, one of my favorite Texas Chainsaw Massacres. And uh, that one has two uh, documentaries on there. One that deals with the, uh, the films that he, well, with the film, another one that deals with kind of like uh, films that he made uh, when he was younger. Like kind of, So it's going to be interesting to see both those, the way they're done, what's kind of, kind of Super 8 type of thing. Um, so there we go, another Scream Factory to add to the collection. Boo ha ha ha. <clears throat> So guys, have a fantastic weekend. Right now, I just got home. I watched uh, the Daily Show because I kind of—that's kind of my thing. I gotta get home. I like to sit down, uh, you know, watch the Daily Show and then uh, and then relax for a bit. I'm gonna miss it once uh, John Stewart's gone because I think that's gonna be it for me for that show. It's gonna be like John Oliver after that. I'll just see what Samantha Bee's and uh, Jason Jones' new series is because I'm interested in what they do. So here we go. Escape from New York. I have Phantom of the Opera. That's gonna be a ways before that one's come before that one comes because I just asked about it. Uh, probably another month or so, or maybe even more. I have uh, one on the way now with uh, from Whisper to a Scream, and I've got a few pre-ordered. Hopefully, uh, those will work out good. But uh, my Scream Factory collection continues to grow. Uh, let me know what you're most looking forward to that's coming out in Scream Factory in the next little while. Uh, give me some ideas. There's a lot of these like double features and stuff coming out, and there's so many that I want. I think Ghoulies is probably topping my list right now, the double features of the, of the ones that are out. Of course, Witchery and uh, Ghost House is like, I'm drooling for those because I've been wanting Ghost House on Blu-ray for so long. I just love that film. It's just one of those films that I utterly have to watch. It's get that noise in the, in the film and the creepy girl with the uh, clown doll scared the crap of me when I was younger, so I have to watch it every time I see it uh, around on TV or uh, when I was at, back in the video store days at the video store I would always run it so uh, that's my Scream Factory thing thanks for watching say hello to the great pin lord in the sky Spidey the Phantom for me right now it seriously is time for tea have a great day guys and uh, go watch yourself some Scream Factory I think when my friend said I, I, get, I put him on the list with skin slip, you said that you didn't have 15 screen factories in your collection. You have to change that. You really do. This is truly an addiction. But it's one addiction that really pays off. Have a great day. And enjoy the weekend.